virtue beings. Let's start that again. Okay. Oh, didn't realize the camera was on. Part two of the bearded man. saved from the dragon in the desert and he was very grateful that he was allowed to live thank you to this very wonderful water dragon who flies um, so the next part of the journey is they flew off into the new day just like Falcor and the boy from the never ending story with the man on the back and big wings flapping and the man he he turned to this dragon and he said, Dragon, I'm looking for this thing called the mystical material. Have you heard of it? Even better, do you know where it is? And the dragon said, Yes, I do. I know where the mystical material is. And the man with the beer was just like, awesome, I haven't gone that far yet. I've just done the Great Desert and you know where the mystical materials are. And so he turned to the dragon and said, can you take me there, dragon? And the dragon said, no, I can't. It's a very scary place and I shan't go there. I said, no, I can't. It's a very scary place and I shan't go there. And uh, the man with the beard said, no worries, dragon, I, I completely understand. I know it is a scary place. I've been told by many people. So I completely understand. Um, but perhaps you could maybe take me to someone who maybe does know where it is and does maybe want to uh, help me get there. And so the dragon said he'd love to take him to the place called the City of Sleep. Now, the City of Sleep is a place where many people go when they're asleep. Many people are sleeping in the world back home. But here we are awaking to that other place we go. Ah, oh, I remember now. This is what I do When I'm off to bed and snoring I come here and I see you So the man with the beard caught up with all his mates from back home and they had a good old laugh and chit chat 
about all the wonderful things they were up to in the city of sleep. They probably would not remember talking to him when they woke up, but it didn't matter at all because they had a good time anyway. But it was here also that the man saw his soulmate. He saw her at the city of sleep and as soon as he saw her, he wanted to go on a passionate adventure with her. So, I mean, if she wanted to, of course, but luckily she did on this occasion. She said that she'd love to fly with the man on the back of the dragon all the way back to the world where she left her body sleeping, because she'd like to see. And so that's what they did. Off they flew through the multi-universe on the back of the flying water dragon. But don't forget the squirrel, still there. Um, so, on a road back home, this is where they're going. <laughs> coming up but they did go back to the city of sleep but the the man's soulmate was not feeling courageous enough to come with him on the journey but that was fine he must venture ahead so this is the next part of the journey um, and I'm going to turn the camera off now <laughs> <clears throat>